last clip that I took, I was crying my eyes out because on a moment though. Okay, sorry about that. And for this angle even. Um, been kind of slow all day. We really don't have much to do at work right now. But some girl just like messaged me asking for something and I'm like, okay, let me look into it. I look into it. It doesn't exist. And I'm like, is this even funded? And she's like, oh, well, it just funded two days ago. So it probably wouldn't be there. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, yeah. So the last clip that y'all saw was me crying over this new position that I got <laughs> and I'm now sweating because of that interaction because I was like oh my god I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and um yeah I don't know I know this this doesn't match it's kind of light but I don't think it's light enough but anyway so I am 18 weeks and two days and we have a appointment today um, in like an hour, so Connor should be leaving work soon, and he's going to be picking me up, we're going to be going to the appointment, and I told him, I was like, listen, like, I could just meet you there, um, that way, like, you don't have to spend the gas, because he's driving the truck, so you don't have to spend the gas to leave work, pick me up, drive me there, and then drive me back. But he um, ended up taking half day, but he still has to do all of that, but like he doesn't have to drive back to work again. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we have an appointment to see the baby. I don't know if we'll see the baby, but I do want to ask what type of um, placenta I have. I was seeing if she like messaged me back because um, I, and I know it's different for everybody, but, uh, I want to know, like, if the kind of placenta that I have is, like, preventing me from feeling the baby move. And I feel like I know where he is. I feel like I know where he is, but he hasn't moved, like, it's been in the same position. So, like, I don't know if that's actually him or what. And it's, like, creeping me out a little bit. Like, it's just, like, a, a lump almost, and it's, like, super far down and, like, my uterus and I'm pretty sure that's him but like he hasn't moved he's just been there so I don't know if that's like, normal or what um and also I'm just like is everything okay so I I want to know what kind of placenta I have because I know some placentas it's harder to feel the baby um move and I know I'm only 18 weeks some people, some people do feel their babies this early, and then some people, um, don't feel their babies until, like, 21 to 24 weeks, so I don't know. Um, I just kind of want to be prepared. Like, I feel like I felt him, like, I felt like, I felt like bubbles, flubbles, like, bubbles before, and I know that that could be, um like your baby moving but uh, again I'm not a hundred percent sure <laughs> um but yeah uh, so I have like a giant list of questions for my doctor um so I hope she doesn't get annoyed by that actually okie dokie Connor just texted me saying that he's leaving work so yeah um like I have a list of questions and I feel like I shouldn't but I do <laughs> uh, it's just like questions that have come up like in conversation with Connor um, and like I'm like oh that's a good question like let me put it down in my notes um, like one of the questions is like what kind of placenta do I have and maybe she'll have to do a sonogram to see what kind of placenta I have <laughs> so maybe I can like get away with that um, even though, like, we just saw him the last, and I know you don't get a sonogram every single time, but, I don't know, if there's an option to get, to get an, a sonogram today, I want to do it. <laughs> I want to I wanna see my baby, I want to see how big he is, but, um, let's see. Oh, so one of my questions, and I'm sure you guys are probably also going to comment as well, so, like, I don't drink caffeine every day. 
Um, but I feel like some days I drink caffeine more than others and it's like, um, kind of over the limit, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Like, I don't really keep track that much because I don't drink caffeine that often. So like one of my questions was if I have no caffeine one day and over 250 milligrams another day, is that going to neg negatively affect the baby? I don't know. Cause I really don't drink caffeine every day. Um, even like my coffee, I get a decaf because I am trying to be mindful about the amount of caffeine. Like, I don't need caffeine to function. I've just, it's never really affected me. Um, yeah, my next question, what kind of placenta do I have? Um, and then I also wanted to ask her, that looks like a lot, but like in my um, uh, mirror, it doesn't look like a lot, a blush. Another question that I had is, like, is it normal still to, like, not really have, like, an appetite or not be gaining weight? Because I really still haven't gained weight. I'm hovering around 143, so I think I gained, like, a pound, like, in, like, the last month. Which, to me, isn't a lot, and I know I should be, like, grateful, but I also want to make sure that, like, everything is, like, okay So, Like, if that's okay. Um, I still need to figure out how to get my breast pump covered by insurance and, like, the route to go that way because when I first went to my, um, my confirmation of pregnancy appointment, I did make, or I tried ordering it on somewhere, I can't remember where, and they had to confirm with my doctor, um, for the breast pump, but because she didn't do the, uh, like she wasn't going to be doing like the delivery, uh, I couldn't go through that doctor. So I had to wait until I got like my new doctor. Um, so I'm just like curious of like that, like how I can go about getting my, my breast pump there. I already know which one I want. I want the Spectra 2, I think. I think that's what it is. Um, cause I've just seen like a lot of good, like, I want to even say reviews, but it's just like a lot of good um, word about it. And then the last thing I I have a question about is like I have neck and shoulder tension, um, which is causing tension migraines. And I think I mentioned it before that um, I'm going to be asking her for um, a prescription for that because it's just it's literally unbearable, un unbearable, unbearable. Um, I, 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 I can't do it anymore. I literally sometimes cannot function. It's so painful that it's like the only symptom that, um, is just staggering to me. I just, I cannot do it. Um, and I know the last time, I think I mentioned it too, she said that if the headaches aren't going away with just like simple Tylenol, which it's not, um, that she can prescribe me something better, which I freaking need. But then also like I... I'm just tense and I don't know why it's just I'm not doing it <laughs> I'm not like this the entire time I just like I'm assuming that has something to do with the baby um, and just like my body tensing up because it's creating a freaking human um so I'm curious if now I should start going to the chiropractor I was really really trying to hold off until like I had back pain like major back pain and like round ligament pain and all that but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to start going to the chiropractor now just because of this because it's freaking awful um so I just kind of wanted to see your opinion and I was thinking about starting to get like monthly prenatal massages um to hopefully help with that as well um and like I'm sure that there's benefits to it too but I'm not 100% sure um but I just, like, I want her opinion on it, especially the chiropractor. Like, I was really trying to hold out until, like, 30 weeks or even, like, my second trimester. Because I feel like 18 weeks is still really early. Um, but, again, like, like, these, these tension headaches are freaking awful. Like, they, like, put me out, dude. It's so bad. Um, so, yeah. I'm getting hungry. Fuck. We're gonna get Chick fil A afterwards. <laughs> I told Connor, I was like, Have you had Chick fil A for lunch this week? He's like, No. I said, Good, because I want it for lunch tomorrow after our appointment. Because our appointment's at 11 20. It's 6 30, or 6 30, 10 30 now. Um, so, I don't know why I'm doing like this much makeup. And 
honestly to me this isn't even a lot of makeup anymore this is just like my go-to like simple get ready but yeah i'm freaking warm now too but yeah um not much else is going on um we have been looking at houses we found a couple that we freaking love but we're not gonna stress about like down payment or anything like that um because like at least we have a house uh like a couple weeks ago like when we kind of even started having the discussion i like started freaking out like oh my god we're not gonna have enough money to even put down payment on a house but we really don't need it like yeah it's gonna be nice and like i'm sure like once the baby gets here it's gonna start feeling more cramped but we can still make do um uh so there's that with the house um i went to a farmer's market that's now new um like right around home from my house on tuesdays and i got a i kind of want to keep my hair like this but i, I also don't at the same time <laughs> it kind of looks cute right now and i didn't even try um but yeah i went to a farmer's market on tuesday and they had like a there was like a, a baby thing i don't know what i'm trying to say on um, a like a booth <laughs> that's what it was and it was like bamboo i don't think it was bamboo like what i got was not fucking bamboo but it's super super cute i did get some stuff um i got this swaddle because it literally matches so well oh we got the recliner so uh it's like a recliner a glider and a rocking chair so this is kind of what we had to do because it's just so small in here um, and I really don't like the way that it's positioned, but if I want to, re like, recline in it, I need some sort of room in there. So, I don't know, maybe I can pull this back a little bit more. I don't know. But anyways, I got the swaddle. My friend got me some little mittens, um, because I think I only have, like, three things. But then I also got this little set, which is, like, the little cap, and then it's a gown, which I think is super, super cute. But it's definitely not bamboo. It was really expensive, but I was really excited. And they had a lot of cute stuff. Like, they had, um, what do they have? They had, um, like, bloomers for baby girls. And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> so freaking cute. Um, but other than that, not much going on. So, yeah. These freaking headaches, man. I just had to take some Tylenol for it. And I feel like right now, um, I'm okay, but... They're still kind of bad, but I am going to go. I'm going to get dressed, and then Connor should be here soon so we can go to our baby appointment. But just wanted to pop in, say hi, and kind of fill you in. And, yeah, I should be – I'm caught up with videos. I still need to upload my most recent one, but I should be, like, vlogging more. I really should. We'll see. Do you guys want to see my bump? I'm not wearing a bra, but it's my bump right now. Doesn't look like much, I feel like. I can feel like my bump this week is smaller than the bump last week. Cause like in my like progress or like my weekly photos, it definitely looks smaller, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. It's good talking to you. Bye-bye.